hello and welcome. Today I am going to go over this new Wicked Edge 66 knife sharpener that I received from Wicked Edge a couple weeks ago. I've been working with Wicked Edge a little over four years now and uh, they never cease to impress me. So when they reached out to me and asked if I was willing to review their latest sharpener, I gladly said yes, of course. So I received the sharpener and to be honest with you, it's a completely other level than the other sharpeners that I own from Wicked Edge. I do have the 120 and I also have the 130 that I've been using over the years and they are excellent. Now with this video, my hope is to introduce you to the Wii 66 and how it's a bit different than the other Wicked Edge systems that are available on the market. I'm not gonna make this a detailed tutorial, more of an overview, but if you do have any specific questions once you're done watching this video, please comment below, subscribe, hit the notification, let me know what questions you may have, and I will do all that I can to help you with that. Another cool feature about this Wii 66 is the fact that you can just clamp it down. Uh, so making it easier to transport, doesn't take up much space in your travel gear, and it's nice and secure, not going anywhere. So just another option if you don't want to use the actual aluminum base. And uh, don't forget, you could also attach this with screws, let's say to a table like this, if it was more of a permanent location that you're going to be working at. So there's a lot of different options when it comes to mounting this Wii 66. Now, one other excellent feature of the Wii 66 is this dual cam vise. Now, compared to the Wii 130, Whenever I would clamp my knife, I mean, of course it works great, but there was a heck of a lot more pressure required. Now with this dual cam vise, as you can tell, just with my thumb, I'm able to press it down, being able to lock the knife in there and just rotate it to either side because you can actually remove this pivot screw and uh, you can flip it over and just replace the washer and a pivot screw. And now you can move it over to the left. So once again, left-handed, right-handed, or whatever you're more comfortable with, excellent options. But look at this action, man. That is very impressive. Another new feature with this Wii 66 is this micro angle drive. Now with the Wii 130 and Wii 120, as you went ahead and set your degrees, you would kind of click into each specific degree. Where with this, it just allows much more custom configuration because you have the ability to set the angle even in between the specific degrees. So here you're looking at going from 13 degrees to 30 degrees and then anything else in between there, super simple just by moving it around. Let's say we want the 20 degree angle. We're right there on the 20 degree, nice and easy. Just tighten up the screw up here and you're good to go. It comes with a key that I actually used for tightening up these screws in order to mount it to the base. And as I mentioned previously, this base is optional. So once again, if you do want to save some money, there are other mounting options that I explained earlier. And the other cool thing that's included with this Wii 66 that didn't come with uh, other models that I received from Wicked Edge is this practice knife. If you're just getting started or if you are a little rusty, you can go ahead and practice on this knife, which will allow you to get the experience that you need so that you can sharpen your own knives effectively without actually destroying them or taking off much more metal uh, than you need to, which all of us uh, go through in the beginning. Just like everything else, perfect practice makes perfect. Okay, so I'm using my tools here and I found a sweet spot. Once again, I'm not gonna go into too much detail. There are excellent tutorials on the Wicked Edge website. This is more of a quick demo and overview on this new Wii 66. So I'm using the depth key here as well as the ruler to find the sweet spot. Once it's in there, all I gotta do is press that down, move this out of the way, and as you can tell, you are good to go here. So if you wanted to test it, let's just say grabbing it. Remember, always safety first, and that is in there. That is not going anywhere. Okay, so I have my knife mounted. I have the correct degree here, which is 20 degrees, and I am ready to go ahead and start sharpening my knife. Okay, so I'm ready to go here. I'm going to start out with the 600 grit, and I'm gonna go ahead and place these on the rod. Remember, always safety first. And while I'm here, since this is a shorter blade, I'm able to just go ahead and make one pass. If there was a longer blade, let's say like a chef's knife, I would probably just walk it up depending on the length of the blade. But since this is a smaller blade, like I just mentioned, I'm able to basically just make one pass straight through. I'm looking to the side every once in a while, just checking, making sure everything's good to go. I wanna keep my thumbs out of the way, as you could tell here. They're pinched, 
nice and safe. Very light pressure, no reason to apply a ton of pressure. And right there, we are good to go with the 600. And I wanna switch over to the 800 grit. And once again, what I am doing is I am starting up and going forward and down. Nice, easy pressure. <laughs> Believe it or not, this knife has actually taken on a uh, pretty good edge here. I want to kind of feel along here, feel for any burrs. So this is a demo knife, hasn't been sharpened, let's say, by other sharpening methods. So it's pretty good to go right from the beginning. So I'll go ahead and just give it a few passes with the thousand grit now, just by rotating them. Remember safety first, keep those thumbs out of the way. And just nice, simple, easy pressure. Nice, sharp demo blade there. So excellent for practice. Okay, from here, I wanna make sure that I'm always holding on to the blade of this knife just for safety purposes. And I wanna go ahead and move this out and up. And wow, that was simple. Now with my Wii 130, the process was definitely not that smooth. There was always a little bit of extra pressure I had to put in there. Let's just say it was a little bit more of a battle compared to the ease of this Wii 66. So bottom line, if you're in the market for a knife sharpener, and specifically an excellent knife sharpener by Wicked Edge, definitely take a look at their latest model, the Wii 66.